Could these be the Olympians of tomorrow? Hundreds of thousands of video game aficionados flocked to the Paris Games Week this year, a chance to catch professional gamers battling it out on the main stage. They may require no more than a comfortable chair and a nimble mastery of controllers, but the International Olympic Committee recently ruled that eSports are indeed sports. In Paris, the Millennium team are training ahead of the FIFA 2018 tournament. All of them are paid professionals, and staying on top of their game isn't easy. It requires a lot of training. We spend a lot of time in front of video games. I think it's mainly a sport on the mental aspect. We have to stay concentrated on the screen for a long time. Mentally, we can't switch off. Physically, it's maybe not the same thing, but as I've said, esports and sport are very similar. The 2022 Asian Games in Hangzhou in China plan to include esports as a medal event for the first time, an important step towards Olympic recognition. But all that hard work doesn't necessarily mean gamers see themselves as Olympians. Personally, I'm skeptical about esports at the Olympic Games because it's not the same as an Olympic sport. But I would be happy to see esports at the Games. It's what I do. I'd love to maybe participate one day. That would be great. And win a medal? Yes, why not? Win a medal. Known by their online aliases, Maestro and Herotia trained for over four hours a day in the hopes of taking home the coveted ESWC tournament title. And then, it's game time. Sasha Brodowski is an eSports player agent. His company manages schedules, contracts, and social networks for the young talents. Some of his clients are only 15. He welcomes the idea of eSports featuring at the Olympics as exposure for his clients, but he doesn't see it happening anytime soon. I don't believe in eSport at the Olympic Games for one simple reason. Today, the video games belong to publishers who own the intellectual property and licenses. I don't see how that works with the values of the Olympics, with the drastic rules of the Olympics. Brodowski says that some top players in European teams earn 20,000 euros a month, with some US counterparts taking home over $700,000 a year. But Olympic medals are priceless. Throw in a chance of saving a princess, and it could all be a script for the next Super Mario game.